Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about July's Boxy Charm. And as always, it costs $25 before shipping and handling. It's about $28 after it's shipped out. So the two to of Boxy Charm is you get all these products for $25. First thing in my Boxy Charm is is the Hourglass Arch eyebrow pencil. It doesn't have a shade on it that I can find. It just has some numbers. Oh, there it is. Warm Brunette. I'm blonde, so I'm not sure how great this is going to be. So, here's the pencil. It's a really pretty package. So, one end has the spoolie, and the other end has your pencil. It's really thin, which I like because I have no eyebrows. So if I have a thick pencil, I can get real crazy and have some manly looking eyebrows going on. So I'm gonna try the smaller pencil in from the, the Hourglass brand. So it did really nice. The color's not too dark. It looks pretty good. I like that it's super extra thin. It makes the hair like hair like it makes the hair like strokes. A lot of times I just use eyeshadow and paint mine on it, but I've been using the pencil a lot more lately. Just trying to do different things with my eyebrows. If you're lucky and you have eyebrows, leave them alone because I've plucked mine so much since I was a teenager that the hair growth doesn't grow back in. This eyebrow pencil retails at $28. Do I think it's worth $28? It might be. Are there some that are cheaper? Possibly, but it's a pretty nice. I really like it. I like the smallness of this spoolie. It's really precise. I'm gonna do my, my other eyebrow and I'll be right back. So I got my eyebrows on. They look pretty good. I would definitely, I'm definitely gonna use it a few more times to see if it really does good. I like the color of it. I like how it gave me the defined hairlines and it was really easy to use. So if you're looking for Microblading, which is semi-permanent eyebrows. My really good friend, Amanda Gonzalez, she just opened a shop in Lindale. So if you're interested in getting that done, just leave me a comment. I'll give you her contact info. She's really good. She's really reasonable. The only reason I haven't gotten it done is because I like to change my eyebrows too much. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small. So, you know, it's not really worth it for me, but I can see the appeal of waking up and not having to draw your eyebrows on every day. So I'm really on the, the, the fence on whether I'm gonna get mine done or not. So again, if you're interested, she is good, she's quick, you get three touch-ups and it's really reasonably priced so if you're interested in that i will get you her information the vitamin c brightener brightening booster by clean skin ugh, clean skin club so it says it's watermelon green tea and pineapple that sounds delicious all together it says this super potent vitamin C brightening booster supercharges your cream or serum to firm and brighten the appearance of the skin while naturally giving you a younger regenerated look. The concentrated formula contains watermelon green tea extracts which help reduce sun damage, even out skin tone, improve the appearance of age and stressed skin. Well, I definitely need that. So it says how to use. As a booster, mix three drops to enhance your cream or serum. Can be applied in the morning and evening. So I guess when you're putting your face cream on at nighttime or in the morning, you add three drops of it to your cream and then put it on your face. It says as a serum, apply three drops, three drops directly to face and neck after cleaning. 
It's in a really pretty bottle. I love the two tones of it. It's glass. I love the dropper on the top. Oh, it smells amazing. Obviously, I can't put it on my face right now because I have makeup on. I'm just going to put some right there. It's very clear. It doesn't have a color to it. It smells wonderful. It's very soft. It's very silky. I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm really going to use this. And I'll let you know if it magically takes away the wrinkles in my forehead. This product costs $49.95. Now, if it just magically gets rid of my wrinkles and my freckles, then I would say it's worth $49.95, but I'll let you know. Then they sent me this eyeshadow palette by Pure. It's called Festival. It has some metallic and some matte. I'm just gonna swatch a couple of these. I think I'm gonna go with Turned Up. I'm going to do Fantasy World. I really like this electric right here. That's pretty dark. I'm going to do Dreamland. That's a pretty neutral color. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that. So they're, they look to be fairly pigmented. I really like that. I haven't used a whole lot of pure brand eyeshadow, so I'm really curious as to how they'll go on. So I'm gonna take a, a brush and I'm just gonna do a quick couple eyeshadows just to see how pigmented they are when you're using a brush and you're putting them on your eyes. So my base color, I'm gonna go in with that Dreamland color. There's a lot of fallout in it, but that sometimes can't be helped. Kind of, kind of stinks a little bit. I don't know. That smells weird. I don't know if I love that. So it went on really good. I like that base color. Even though it's a lighter color, it went on really pigmented. I'm gonna go in with Insta Worthy. Insta Worthy. I can't talk today. So it's really, it's a nice color. It's very warm. I'm gonna go on with my finger with the Euphoric. So the metallics aren't as soft as some other metallics that I really like to use. It's, it's not bad. It's a really soft soft color. Now I'm going to just go in with this dark teal color electric and I'm just going to throw it on this eye just to see how it looks. So that's a lot of fallout. And I didn't bake so now I'm going to have to figure out how to get this eyeshadow off of my nose without ruining my foundation and my powder. It's pretty. It's not as pigmented as the other, the matte colors, but it's really pretty. Now I just had to figure out how to get this off without messing up the rest of my makeup. A lot of people do their base and foundation after they do their eyeshadow, but I just think it looks on me. I guess maybe I don't know how to do it properly and I just completely messed the whole thing up and have to start all over again so i do my face and my powder and then i do my eyes this palette retails for 36 dollars. is it worth 36 dollars? i probably would not pay 36 dollars for it because i can get other palettes with like 30 colors in them for 40 bucks so it's in my opinion it's probably not worth 36 dollars. but i didn't pay 36 dollars for it so I'll probably use it. So the next product that Boxy sent me was the Quick Color Switch Dry Makeup Brush Cleaner by Lavish. This 
retails for $20. So it just comes in a little tin can and there's this little sponge in there. And you're supposed to be able to take your dirty brush that you used and wipe it on the little sponge. And it's supposed to take the color off that way you don't mix colors. It looks like that it took the color off pretty good. I'm just gonna go right here to see if it. Yep, that's pretty good. We're gonna try this dark color. Let's see, let's see. See, it left some there. So now we're gonna do it on the little sponge. Let's see. It worked pretty good. It didn't take, it took it out. Yeah, worked pretty good. But. I bought the same one, not the same one, but I bought this one at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I'm not sure that there's much difference. So am I going to pay $20 or am I going to pay $1? I love the Dollar Tree. You can get all kinds of good finds there. And I have used this one several times. It works great. It was a buck. I wouldn't pay $20 for the other one, but it's nice to have them. And last but not least, they sent me a lipstick by Hank and Henry. I have not used this brand a whole lot. They did send me a palette in a few months ago, uh, eyeshadow palette by Hank and Henry, and I did not love it. So I actually gave it away. So they sent it to me in the color Sext. I wouldn't want to tell people what color it was, but it, it's cool. I like the packaging. Uh, so I guess you just push the little button on the top and it comes out. That's really cool. I expected it to be red, but it is not. It is a brown color with sparklies in it. So that's kind of awesome. I'm going to do a little swatch here. So it is a nude brown. I do not see these sparklies in it it looks like once you rub the top off the sparklies are gone that's a little bit disappointing i don't know why they put the sparklies on the top of it when it's just gonna rub off and you're not gonna have them on your lips so i got my lip liner on and i'm gonna try the hank and henry lip color So it's really soft. I actually really like the color. My husband will hate it. He likes the bright colors, so I don't really wear the neutral colors just a whole lot. He likes like bright reds, bright pinks, purple, blue, green. He hates it when I wear these neutral colors. It is very soft. I actually really like that. I love the packaging. I think that's awesome. You push the top and it comes out. I'm not sure why they wouldn't have made the package brown because I expected red because the package is red. Even the bottom is red. So I would be very confused about that. This lipstick retails for $17. I would probably actually pay $17 for it. It's very soft, it's not drying. Even though it's fairly matte, it's not super glossy but I actually really like it. So there you go. I think my $25 was worth it with my lipstick and my little eyebrow brush here. So there you go. BoxyCharm did it again. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they get away with it, but go Boxy. We love you and that's all I have for today. So I hope you guys have a great day and come back and see us.